미국에서 왔습니다. 그런데 원래 미국에서 살고 있어요. 어디서 오셨어요? Yes, I am from Korea. But I originally live in the United States. Where are you from? We are at the Samsung Galaxy S24 content capture event ahead of the launch of the S24 range in San Jose in Silicon Valley. And I'm chatting with Andrew who is going to show us an amazing feature of the S24. Okay, so I'm very excited to tell you about the new interpreter feature on the S24 series. This is a face-to-face, -face, person to person interaction, um, translation and interpretation feature that you can use uh, when you meet a person who speaks another language than you. Um, to access this feature, you would basically go into the drop-down menu and you can access the interpreter function on this icon here when you click on it. So once you click on this, you will see immediately a split screen, right? Where uh, one is actually upside down. This mode is actually for face-to-face -face interaction. But let's say that two of you are actually facing the same direction and one would be upside down. So with a click of a button, you can actually turn that back into orientation mode. Okay? But for the sake of this exercise, maybe I could turn that back around so that we can be face to face and maybe have uh, a conversation together. Andrew, tell us where you are from. Andrew, 당신이 어디에서 왔는지 말해주세요. 네, 저는 한국에서 왔습니다. 그런데 원래 미국에서 살고 있어요. 어디서 오셨어요? Yes, I am from Korea, but I originally live in the United States. Where are you from? I am from Johannesburg, the golden city of Africa. It's also the biggest city in South Africa. 저는 아프리카의 황금 도시 요하네스버그에서 왔습니다. 남아프리카에서 가장 큰 도시이기도 해요. 요하네스버그에서 오셨군요. 정말 환영합니다. 이번 행사에 오셔서 정말 감사합니다. You're from Johannesburg. You're very welcome. Thank you so much for coming to this event. Have you been to Johannesburg? 제니스에 가본 적 있어요? Okay, Let's try again. Yeah. Have you been to Johannesburg? 요하네스버그에 가본 적 있어요? 사실 저는 가본 적이 있어요. 한 10년 전에 가봤던 것 같아요. 정말 아름다운 도시로 기억하고 있습니다. Actually, I've been there. I think I went there about 10 years ago. I remember it as a really beautiful city. Yeah, and I am chatting with Jocelyn. Hi. Is going to show us how the AI works on the S24 Ultra. Note that this is the version that doesn't have the AI chip on board. So most of what Jocelyn is going to show me is going to process in the cloud, but some of it is on the phone itself. Let's have a look. All right. So today we'll be talking about instant slow motion. As you can see in this video right here, it's a normal speed. But with the AI that's already built in, you can actually choose portions of the video that you'd like to slow down. And then once you release, it goes back to normal speed. And it's generating those in-between images on the fly. Yes. And then you'll simply just click on this pencil to continue editing your video. You can select which frames you'd like to slow down. You can even do the whole video. You can adjust your speed. And let's just say we want it in 1.4. So we'll go ahead and play that. This is showing the slow down part. And then we'll play it again from the top. So you can see it going from normal to slow down. 
when the image is done, you'll see a very small left corner. Just to Perfect. See <laughs> and then you would just simply save from there. The next feature we'll talk about is photo assist. You have this beautiful image here, but you just don't like how that reflection looks. With the built-in AI, you'll just click on that I button. It'll give you suggestions on how you can enhance your photo. And it says erase reflections, so we'll go ahead and press that. And automatically it takes it off for you. Amazing. So we have your before and your after. And then you would save from there. Another image that we have is this shadow, but it's just like really ruining that picture, that moment. But with the built-in AI, it'll actually correct it for you and give you suggestions to erase the shadow. There you go. Automatically, it's taken off before and after. And that's all on the phone itself. It's Correct. not in the cloud. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then we would save. The last feature, and one of my favorites of all, is using generative AI. So imagine you wanted to take this picture of the skater in midair, but you pulled out your phone at the last minute. Using generative AI, you'll click on that pencil, see the Galaxy AI button. We're going to go ahead and highlight the skater. Simply hold down and you can actually drag them anywhere you'd like. You can enlarge it, you can turn them around. Magical. <laughs> so you never miss that moment. You can also take away this lamppost, for example, if you didn't like it. Simply just delete. And you can also use the scale to straighten it or whatever angle you'd like, how you wanted to create your image, and simply just generate it. And it does typically take about 10 seconds, only because the data is trying to send it to the cloud. It'll also polish it, make it more crisp, so you have that perfect image. Sheer magic. Original and after. Nice. Uh, about the watermark? Oh yes, correct. So once you save this, it will leave you a watermark in the corner of every picture, and that way you can distinguish which one was edited or not. Thank you, Judge. Oh, you're welcome. Bye.